mean? Those fuckers. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I bought a brand new Ampeg Rocket Base RB210. And when I got it out of the box, it was dead, completely dead. So I thought, hey, I've got nothing to lose. Let me have a look inside. So I've removed the circuit board out of the back of the amp, and this is what it looks like. Now, the problem was immediately apparent, as you can see, this connector is supposed to be connected somewhere down there to the switch, and it isn't. It seems as though what happens is that AC power comes in here through this socket or fuse arrangement. They've put it through this, I think they're in there as a choke that then goes to the motherboard. Um, or the motherboard, the, the amp board. You can see that, you know, they've got some sort of switch mode power supply arrangement happening here. Not too many ICs. And then that gets, that looks like a big ass rectifier there. And there's the main two ICs, the, uh, sorry, transistors or MOSFETs or whatever they are that does all the hard work. They're mounted on the heat sink. The output from that board goes to the output board here, which um, on the other side of this board is the um, uh, external speaker. And you can see that there's three plugs here that I had to actually disconnect just along here, which goes, those two go to the speakers, that one goes to the horn. And uh, it seems as though that's a bit of filtering and fuse arrangements there for the horn to protect the horn. This board along the top does all of the tone controls, volume controls, all that sort of stuff. And when I look at the this side of the board anyway, I can see that there's not many ICs or anything like that being poked through. So it looks as though it's a fairly simple board. And I noticed that it's made by Yamaha. Um, there's not a mention of Ampeg on that board at all. Same with this board, I can't see, there's no mention of who made the board. But one thing I do like about what I see here is that it's all, it looks as though it's serviceable, you know? It looks as though a technician shouldn't have any dramas doing component level uh, replacement if it needs if it needs be in the future. Um, it all looks okay. Um, these big ass blue, they're probably capacitors. Yeah, they're capacitors. One of them's got a choke on one leg. I think they'll fail in the long term, probably, you know, after seven years, they'll probably, you know, tantalums are usually not that reliable, and I think they're tantalums. Uh, apart from that, it all looks pretty good. All right, so there you go.